Hey guys, it's Griffin, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a color correction for your social media designs in Photoshop. So, color corrections are pretty much essential if you want to make your designs look really nice. Uh, pretty much every designer uses them, or every designer should at least. So, yeah, let's get right into it. So, I just have a random header open that I'm going to use to show you guys what a color correction will look like on a header. So, yeah, first thing I'm going to do is gonna make a new adjustment layer I'm gonna choose the gradient map and it's just white right now click the bar right here and just choose the black and white preset okay close that and now um, it doesn't really do anything be well it does but not much so I'm gonna choose the blending mode and put it to soft light and now it makes it a lot more contrasted but I'm gonna turn the opacity down a lot because that doesn't look good uh, yeah, that's good. Oh, oops, I choose overlay. Use soft light. Sorry. Um, okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is do a curves layer. Um, also, there isn't like a specific way to make a color, uh, color correction. You can really do... You can just like do it freeform, like do whatever adjustments you want. But this is how I do mine. So I'm gonna make... Uh, I'm just gonna use curves to make a more contrasted look. So I'm gonna go over to the upper right corner and I'm gonna drag this up a little bit and then drag the opposite side down which is called an S curve because it, it we're, we gave it kind of an S shape so I'm gonna turn the opacity on that down to like 50 okay that's good um, so we have a black and white header here so hue and saturation isn't, isn't really gonna do anything to this but it will if you have a banner that has color. So if you have a color banner, I like to turn the saturation to like 13. Yeah, that's good. And then also do a vibrance layer and put that to like 13 too. So that'll affect it if you have a colored banner, but I don't, so it doesn't look any different. So next thing we're gonna do See, I'm gonna add some brightness and contrast. Turn both of them up until it looks nice. Yeah, like 20, I guess. And contrast, like 22. Uh, yeah, so that's it for the brightness and contrast. Uh, one of the last things we're gonna do is add a solid color. Make it like a dark gray color. Okay. And put the blending mode on that to screen. And turn the opacity down to about 10 and that'll give it kind of a like faded look I don't know I like the look of it but you don't have to do that uh, let's see is there anything else that we should do uh, I'm gonna add a little bit more curves also there are curves presets up here um, I like to use linear contrast um, so yeah I'm gonna group all these and show you what it looks like without it so yeah, that looks really nice in my opinion. I'm gonna title this group CC. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how to make a color correction. It's not that hard. If you get good at it, it only takes a few minutes. So if you enjoyed, leave a like and comment, and also let me know what tutorials you guys would like to see. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.